They are still out here, Carolyn, and right now it's still being called a search and rescue mission. They do not have a cutoff time to when this will end. And just a short time ago, I spoke with the mother of Kent Morton. He is the man who is missing, 27 years old. Apparently, he's raising a seven-year-old daughter all by himself. Morton fell from the bridge this afternoon as he was working on the bridge. The Coast Guard got the call around 1.45. Morton's co-worker saw it happen. The 27-year-old father works for Seaway Painting out of Livonia. How he fell is not clear, but there is a piece of what looks like a broken platform hanging from the underside of the bridge. The 27-year-old father apparently resurfaced after he hit the water, which is about a 152-foot drop from the bridge. Search and rescue boats along with dive teams have been looking all day and into the night. He uh, did try to swim and was carried down by the current uh, to about the Bobolo dock area, which is maybe maybe a quarter of a little less than a quarter of a mile from the ambassador bridge um, my dive team responded out here and at that point we tried to develop a, a search grid pattern to find out exactly uh, where he drifted and where and where he could possibly be at this time it's not clear at this point what kind of safety gear this man was wearing. The Ambassador Bridge Company and Seaway have not been able to tell us if he was tethered to the bridge. As far as the search, it's going on up and down the river, all the way down to Gross Eel and beyond. We're told we'll keep you posted on any new developments. Reporting live, I'm Tom Waite, 7 Action News. Wow, such tragic news. Tom, you got to hope a lot of people are putting their arms around his 7-year-old daughter tonight and hoping for the best. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Tom.